Hey guys, it's Ross, and I would say all in all, my in-ground trees had the same harvest period as my potted trees. And uh, I think the potted trees, just in general here, get about a two-week head start to the season, whereas my in-ground trees seem to ripen continuously two weeks after the potted trees have kind of given up. And you can see my black Madeira KK. It's actually still loaded with figs, unfortunately. We're not going to get many of them, but this one here is perfectly ripe. I'm going to pick it. It doesn't have the best color to it, but if I open this up, actually we got a nice drip of honey down here. It's very soft. It's very good. Even today, which is uh, like October 10th, something like that, this fig's incredible. And it just kind of goes to show what I've been saying is that the ground here in the earth is just warmer. Even though it has been much cooler at nights and uh, a lot of the potted trees actually have kind of started dropping their leaves and started not to look that great. Because they're above ground, they're above grade, that cooler temperatures are hitting them harder than they are in the ground. And I should take some soil temperature readings, but for the most part, I'm just happy to have figs continuously for two more weeks at least after most of my potted trees have kind of given up. Um, and you can also see over here, here's my Neruchiola de Elba, which is putting out its second crop of the year. This is an in-ground tree, but we planted it this spring in the ground. Uh, it got no head start though. So it woke up around April 15th underneath the sunroom. We planted it out sometime around that time and it's been in ground pretty much all season. And it's putting out two crops and they're drying up on the tree. Um, so I wanna open that one up real quick. I guess I should put this black Madeira down. Poor guy. Let's pick this. And these are real small bite-sized figs. Oh, that's real good. And look how red that is. It's almost purple. It's very bitter at this time of the year. This is a fig that some people have described as bitter. And I can see it now, I get it. Uh, late in the season, when the temperatures cool down, it's a bitter fig, uh, but it's weird. It's a nice balance of sweetness and bitterness that you really just don't find in any other fig. Here's another one over here. That's pretty much at that state. And this is just wonderful. I mean, to be able to even have figs at this time of the year, um, is just really saying something. I have some Malta black ripening in the front. To improve Celeste over there. Most of these though, because they're just planted as rooted cuttings their first year, I didn't get either any fruit or very little fruit. Um, I do have a pastillier over there that's still fruiting. I'm gonna show you guys in a separate video because I'd like to review that fig on its own. So we'll do that now. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the whole point of this video here guys is that I wanted to show you guys the big differences, and not only that, but I think a large portion of it is that this area here just gets more sunlight than the patio. Even on the west side of the house, we have a lot of in-ground trees over there. Some of them are indeed still fruiting, but even those are getting more sunlight and more heat than this area, or I should say the patio. And as a result, just because the, the in-ground earth, the earth is just warmer, we have a longer season. So I want to thank you guys for watching this one. We'll catch you soon. See you for that past of the air video. Take care guys.